What is 5G? The first rule of life. If we want to survive, we have to communicate. Why? To communicate, we must have a device. The world is becoming bigger and bigger. We need something to go farther. Samuel Morse designed the Morse code. Guess what? Now we can transfer data. And here is Alex Graham Bell. And now you can hear me talking. Zero generation. Telephones, like radios, were mostly used in cars and trucks, with the operators at the other side of the line exchanging phone calls. The first generation is also analog. Voice quality is clear like a vinyl record. But the battery cannot last for more than two hours. With 2G, we can send data as well as voice. Then there comes the GSM standards. Now 212 countries are using it. That means we can travel to different countries without changing our SIM. But the data transfer speed is 9.6 kilobits per second. And that means the second generation speed is now enhanced to 56 kilobits per second. But there's still a long way ahead. When the speed touches 56 megabits per second, everything becomes easier and helps us to think about more important things. The speed ranges from 100 megabits per second to 1 gigabit per second. That is a new horizon. But there are huge tiny problems. In motion, or when it's crowded, the speed would fall off. There's a problem here. Due to the high latency, we're not able to control anything remotely with 4G. Blast! But with 5G, we don't have any problems at all. Everything works smoothly. One millisecond latency means heaven. We're able to do so much. Technically everything. Super fast speed and minimum battery use. Even cars and other things can communicate. Do more exciting things than driving. This was only a brief introduction of the 5G technology by the Tehran 5G conference. We make the future happen. And the next Tehran 5G 2017 conference is still on the way. So stay tuned.